all right guys in this video i want to talk about the importance of diversifying your influence all right i wouldn't want i wouldn't necessarily say influence but especially when it comes to knowledge okay this is a channel where um i, I value knowledge a lot you get what i'm saying i got a couple history videos you know what i'm saying and you know whenever i cite whenever i i'm talking in these history videos you can see like i cite different sources i get sources from multiple different places but you know truth be told you know researching is actually kind of like not it's fun you know what i'm saying it's definitely fun and it's interesting but you know i i, I won't say it's easy you get know what i'm saying especially when it comes to certain things man it's in certain topics especially if we you know if you if you're a little bit emotionally invested in the things that you research sometimes you know it's just not fun you know but this is why it's important you know and is that you need to diversify we need to diversify where you learn from you know what i'm saying you need to diversify the people who you learn from the people who influence you you know what i'm saying because you know this is something that i've been done you know back in 2020 i sort of left the religion and joined the conscious community and went the comedic route right you know but just uh just a couple of days ago i had a talk with some christian more, some christian missionaries who are actually mormons you know and um i know you guys all seen things like the mormon cartoon you might be thinking like why would you why would you talk with mormons right but you know i had some um interesting conversations with them you get what i'm saying i had some interesting conversations i got to learn a little bit about a little bit more about mormonism and I, i'm not saying that i'm going to become a mormon but you know it's gonna be something it's gonna be an interesting experience you know i got i have a story now i can go out and say i've talked with the mormons before i can say that I've talked with people who know about this certain religion, you know what I'm saying? And so that's that's one thing it comes. If you have different influence, you meet with different people, you know, if you're if you're just, and like this is one thing I kind of value a lot cuz I want to be that person who knows people from different backgrounds and different areas and you know what I'm saying? I have like it it, it just breeds. I don't know if it breeds the chance or you know what I'm saying? Like it makes the chance of you having better experiences more likely literally if you know different types of people if i know muslims if i know christians if i know people who are from the left if i know people who are from the right i'm gonna have a diverse amount of experiences i'm gonna have more stories to tell i'm gonna have more interesting opinions and my opinions are gonna be i feel like in my opinion they're gonna be more well thought because you know i've seen the different um i've seen the different sides of the i've seen the different attitudes about certain things i've seen the different perspectives you know and i've sort of let them kind of I, I took them both into consideration whenever it comes to making certain decisions about certain things when it comes to discussing certain topics i've seen both sides you know even when it comes to this whole where the ancient egyptians were black thing right i know it's a random topic but you know whenever i was researching it or the kingdom of kush for example you know i did have to go through the struggle of looking at articles looking at what people listening to what people had to say even when they didn't agree with me i have you have to listen to people who disagree with you you know it might not be the funniest thing in the world but it's gonna get you more educated on the topic you get me because then you're gonna start asking the right questions you know i was um only discussing and talking with the afrocentric groups or people who i know who are also afrocentric or people who just agree with me and i never talk with anybody else i would learn a lot less why because if i go and i have those discussions with the people who disagree with me they're going to point out certain things that certain that other people especially the people who agree with me wouldn't point out to me you know what i'm saying so then you know they point out certain things okay now i have to ask the questions and i i learn a lot more i learn a lot more i learn faster and you know what i'm saying i i, I developed a little bit more expertise in the topic it's literally how learning works you get me you you see things from different perspectives again even in books like how to win friends and influence people right in this type of book right you want anybody to listen to you, you want anybody to take you serious in real life you got to be able to see things from different perspectives and you know i'm not even saying because obviously look i'm a younger guy saying this so you know it's gonna sound a little bit weird but you know you don't have to you don't have to be someone with you know years and years of experience to know that you know when someone comes up to you and they're talking about any specific thing if it's not to your interest and you know what it what it is meaningless you get me yeah guys like i like this is why i feel like you know having the different perspectives or being around people with different perspectives and different opinions i know we might hear this a lot but you know i think it's like really valuable when you actually put this to use you put this to use and you surround yourselves with different people in different environments and you actually um take the initiative to go and learn and ask those right questions you go and ask those questions that are challenging 
you know those questions that challenge you those questions that you might be a little bit afraid to ask why because you might be wrong at the end of the day we come to the truth you know and the truth is subjective it's constant that's the thing that never changes the truth is what never changes you know but it's up to you to find it you get what i'm saying so why not set yourself why not set yourself up you know what i'm saying for success you know why set yourself up for failure set yourself up for success to be able to get to the truth um quicker you know what i'm saying more gracefully whatever quicker you know it's a much more honorable thing to do honestly in my opinion but with that being said guys that's my message to you guys for today hope you guys like the video definitely leave a like if you guys want to have a community where you can talk with different people and individuals about history self-improvement and all this type of stuff man definitely hit the link for the discord server in the new sudan we also talk about sudanese history and it's about uniting sudanese people and african people so definitely look if you're sudanese especially join that discord server man it's for you it's for you